Hello friends, Linda Lord here with Arts Can Teach at Home. Today, we're going to be exploring personal narratives. A personal narrative shares a real story from your life that you have carefully chosen to share. Now, because it's a personal narrative, you might want to include a lot of details so that the person or people listening to your story get a really good sense of the reason this story is important to you. Always remember that an effective story likely has a beginning, a middle, and an end. You may even want to tell a story that shows a slight character arc, which means this is what you were like when the story starts, then the story happens, and this is how you are once the story ends. The next thing to do is to make a list of great ideas. So idea number one it might be to tell the story of how you came to Canada. Another idea might be how I met my best friend. And a third idea might be, ooh, this one time I learned something so important about being kind. From that list, you're going to decide which idea to develop into that personal narrative. So for our example today, I chose how I met my best friend. The next step is to create a story map to help with the order of events. Now, I've included a graphic here that helps us to decide the different events that happen, the rising action, the climax, and the resolution. Now, that might be a little too complex for the story that you want to tell, but I leave it here for you to use just as an example of how to build your story when you're going to share it. Then, I'm going to invite you to break that story into four parts. The example that I'm providing, I actually use the words first, then, next, and last. You don't have to do that. That simply provides the structure or the order of the telling of the events. So first something happens, then something else happens, and next this happens, and finally, or last, we have the resolution. And that's sort of the skeleton of how your story gets put together. So you want to write at least one sentence for each of the four parts. So here we go. First, I was afraid to go to school because my family had just moved to this town and I didn't know anyone. My mother said I would make friends, but I just wasn't sure. Then it was time to get out of the car. I saw all the kids smiling at each other. They already had all the friends they needed. It was going to be awful. And I was going to be alone. Next, I started to walk to the building. I must have looked really scared because that's when Maggie smiled at me and said hello. I smiled back. She asked if I was new to the school, and I said yes. <laughs> the last thing I remember about that morning is that I may, made and met my new best friend. So do you see how we move from first to then to next to last? And sometimes it takes more than one sentence to move us from one part of the story to the next. Well, now it's your turn. I would invite you to think of two or three, maybe even four ideas of personal narratives. Choose one of those ideas and write a few paragraphs. First, next, then, finally, or last. So four parts, four paragraphs for your personal narrative. I would love for you to share them with someone in your class or with your teacher or someone in your home. Thanks so much. Until next time, Arts Can Teach at Home.